Hello and welcome to Community Conversations. I'm your host, KK Konoshiro. The field and study of robotics is gaining popularity in schools across the country and especially here in Fremont. Robotics clubs are springing up all over the district and teams featuring Fremont Unified students are competing and winning awards all over the world. Yay! <laughs> One of our students at Mission San Jose High School is doing his part in promoting robotics through his new book on this topic. Here to discuss robotics and everything it has to offer students at Mission San Jose High School is senior Advit Marathe. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here. So, I got to ask you, you're a senior. Mm -hmm. What prompted you to write a book? Because that is a huge endeavor. Yeah. So, um, what prompted me to write this book was that I had been, I was introduced to robotics at the age of 13, and since then I've been hooked. Okay. And I started competing in competitions, building my own robots at home. And actually, for the past three years, I've actually been uh, teaching robotics at really? local after schools. Nice. Yeah. Do you like teaching? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, I've been teaching robotics at local after schools and I've helped over 200 students so far. Okay. And uh, while I was, you know, doing my robotic antics at home, uh, my parents would tell their family friends and tell my family about what I was doing, obviously. Okay. Yeah. 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 They're bragging. They're bragging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some of my family friends and some of my family started to ask me about questions about how they could get introduced to robotics. And if they, uh, if they had started, they would also ask me if they had, to help solve some of their problems that right, they had. Right. Yeah. So uh, I saw that, and I did that for around two years, and I saw that most of my answers were the same. The same. Yeah. And uh, it was all just this collective pool of information okay. about robotics and how to get started, and you know how to advance in the field. And I took all that information from what I was telling my family and friends, and also over and over again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what I was teaching my students, and okay. I saw that I could bring it together, and the best way to bring it together would be a book. Yeah. And this would be really accessible to not only Bay Area students, but also globally and other states as right. well. So how long did it take you to write this book? Because so, i got to show this book. I don't yeah. know if the camera can pick this up, but it's huge. This is great. Yeah. But how long did it take you to write this? So I started formulating the idea of the book in 10th grade. Okay. And I had been teaching for two to three years. And to actually write it, it took me around nine months to one year. That's pretty short, considering you're a full-time student, plus you're teaching. Right. I, I spent a lot of summers on this. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So when you wrote your book, now what? Did you go to publishers? Did you self-publish? How did this all happen? So uh, I wanted to make sure that, first and foremost, the book would help the community, right? Yeah. And I saw that there were two routes I could go. I could go through traditional publishers, or I could go self-publishing. And I researched both, and I saw that self-publishing was more of my style. I would be able to control prices and also yes. who would be able to get the book, yeah. right? And then if you have to update something, that's easily done, Much right? Much easier, yeah. yeah. Good. And the thing with self-publishing, so I started researching different self-publishing programs, and the best one I found, the one I currently use, Good. is Amazon KDP. Okay. So it's Kindle Direct Publishing, mm -hmm. and through oh, this, Kindle. Yeah. Wow. Ebooks. Ebook too. Love that. And uh, yeah, so I could, pro I could have a Kindle ebook and also a hard copy, and Amazon would take care of all the printing jobs. And, and shipping. everything like that, yeah. <laughs> so your dad's garage is nice and clean still. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So have you gotten a good re a response from the book? Yeah, it, the response has been really, or like, I've gotten a good response from it. Last I checked, I've sold around 712 books. Good job. That's phenomenal. And I thought my only target audience would be the U.S. and India, but turns out people from Spain and Argentina have bought it too, which I didn't really expect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's all over the world. Right, and yeah. also like uh, another thing that my students and people who bought the book have said is that they like it much better than the other books on Amazon about robotics that because? help you introduce. Because uh, it's from the perspective of a student nice. and not just from a coach. Yeah. Because parents interact with kids in one way while teenagers interact with kids in a different way. This is great. So you're speaking at their level. Right. Yeah. So they get you. Yeah. Yeah. 
You're talking to me, not above me. I get it. <laughs> okay. So this is fun. So if you, I know this took you, what, nine months to do? Mm -hmm. and, and I know it, um, updates or revisions right. of the book are easily done. Do you have to do a lot of revisions since you first started? Because now that you've finished it, usually, oh, I should have done this and done you know this differently. I mean, how's that going for you? So uh, I've been looking over my book, obviously, yeah. and I saw that there. I've included most of the information I want, but I feel like I should include more like comical relief for <laughs> students. Yes. <laughs> so uh, that makes them want to read your book. Right. Yeah. And uh, I mostly targeted the book towards third graders to seventh graders. Oh, perfect. Because uh, from third to fifth grade, that's when you know people actually get started, started to get interested right. in these types of subjects. Right. And then uh, when I was creating it, I mainly include Lego robotics, mm -hmm. but I've also built robots at home. And one of the <laughs> one of the best robots I've built is I built a robot that sprays my brother when oh, he's not expecting. Oh, nice. Him. Yeah. Love that. And I think that would have been a funny addition to the book. Yeah. And it would really have inspired students. Oh, look, I can fulfill my number one priority of annoying my brother. <laughs> As every brother should. Right. <laughs> now, do you have any other books you want to write? Now that you've written one, usually you get the bug and you right. want to write more. Can you give us a little hint? Are you still working on something? It's a surprise? Or can you let us in on the secrets? Yeah. So uh, I've. I've been looking at, like I wrote my first book, and I know that I want to write more books about robotics, yeah. but I've also been interested in mystery books, like Sherlock Ooh. Holmes, uh, since Ooh. like third grade. Nice. Yeah. I and Sherlock I, Holmes. Yeah, and I really want to get uh, situated with that. I've been thinking of ideas, but I haven't really started formulating those okay. mystery book ideas yet. That'd be great. Wow, this is so amazing. I'm so proud of you, and you're Thank 12th you. grade. Wow. <laughs> so. Um, if someone wants to buy your book, they just easily go into Amazon, no big deal, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I just want to show this book again because this is phenomenal. And it's picking up in the camera. Okay, good. So, but it's thick. You got to like. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I ask you what's on page 72, could you tell me? I couldn't tell you exactly, <laughs> but. <laughs> I just had to do that because yeah. this is fun. So, I can't believe this. This is. Um, do you have a goal with how much, how many books you want to sell, or do you? Uh, it doesn't matter so to you. So one of my goals really is that, since robotics is becoming a burgeoning field, right. and that it it provides a unique educational opportunity because students don't just learn about STEM and you know engineering right. principles. They also have to look into the future and see how the programming aspects and business. Sorry, building aspects right. will come together, okay. and if they don't make sure those two come together in the nice way, in a nice way, yeah. then the robot itself won't work. Okay. Now, so, do you help? Because I know you know your fellow students, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of students that can't afford right. something. Do you still help them out? Yeah. So I've been talking with some nonprofits, and Good. I've been trying to find ways to donate the book. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I think that uh, some of these schools, I I know that the thing with the book is that. I would not only have to donate a book, but also a robotics kit. So I'm starting to look oh, for ways good. to fundraise money in order to provide students with a guide to robotics, yeah. and then also the robotics kit to get hands-on learning as well. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, what do I you want to be a teacher, or do you want to be in the field making stuff? Or? I really want to go into, I, I really like education, but mm -hmm. I also really like the technological aspect and how it could impact right. different fields. So I think I want to go into educational technology, probably okay. maybe start my own company that would allow us to revolutionize the field of education using like technology or computer vision. Yeah. And that would be really nice because I know, I know that technology has been improving, right. but like it hasn't really improved through, or sorry, education has been improving, but like it hasn't really been impacted by technology right. so far. Right, well this is great. I wish you all the best, and I know you can do this. No pressure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah. being here. This is no great. Problem. I'm so proud of you. This is great. One of our own. From everyone here at Community Conversations, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.